When people hear your name, they associate you with the, the German town and the, this guy was throwing bombs at a gas station on West Queen Lane. <laughs> What would you like them to know, since this is the first time you're really telling your story publicly? But... Uh, well, I know that my uh, uh, friend, <laughs> friend, my neighbor, made up the business about the gas station. He thought I was a Russian spy, and uh, he actually called my friend Sarah while I was in prison, crying, and he apologized for having, you know, ruined my life and sent me to prison. I, th I think it was he who suggested to the news and to Detective Brooks that something, you know, could have happened at the gas station. And in absolutely every story I've read in every interview, somebody clearly primed people to think about the gas station. I remember waking up in the hospital and not only my leg was chained to the bed. So the nurse came in and said, I see you're, you were trying to blow up the gas station. And I said, what gas station? She said, you know, the one on the corner there near where you lived. And I said, the gas station? I said, I wasn't, I was all the way over on the, I was in my kitchen. You know, I was out my kitchen door. And I said, the gas station? I felt like I was falling off the earth. She said, well, it's in all the newspapers. And I was thinking, my God, you know, it's just, that's what they're telling people, you know? You know, my career's been been pretty good. Uh, before going to, to prison, I uh, never had a painting around more than 24 hours, really, before it sold. And the gallery that I had down in uh, North Carolina, that was my most recent gallery. Uh, they just dumped me like a hot potato as soon as I got arrested. And it's been very difficult getting back in a gallery. Uh, been very difficult making new friends. A lot of my, uh, who I thought were family, you know, just have blocked me socially and in a way that I didn't know was possible, you know. And all the first three months in prison, in jail over here at uh, Philadelphia CFCF, I forced myself, once I got some paper and uh, pencil, I, I would force myself to write every day. I learned how to write. Uh, it looked like a kindergartner's writing at first, but I think my painting may even be better than it was in a weird way. There's something I never noticed before was that when I painted with my right hand, there was always a bit of a lag, you know, I, I think before the, you know, I, I never noticed because I'd been doing it all my life. But with my left hand, it's just straight to the canvas, it's just eye to canvas. There's, there's no delay, there's, there's a self-portrait I did in prison up there, if you want to get a picture of that. So that was a couple years later, but <clears throat> yeah, these are some, uh, the one with the airplane and the little skeleton, those are some prison paintings. And uh, the one up on the upper right is one I did right before I blew my hand off. What would you like to say to people who, and you mentioned this earlier, oh, he's a fire bug, oh. Right. Well, I didn't start a fire uh, in either place, and um, uh, I was making fireworks, and I... Uh, for which there are no charges in Philadelphia because it's legal here. And you can buy a box of dynamite at the hardware store, which would be thousands of times more explosive than the three firecrackers I still had at home. I admit that in Chester County, I was, I was um, you know, I was drunk and uh, I was uh, suffering from PTSD, having been in a fire uh, that I did not start, incidentally. I also want I also want to let people know that I was not singled out. I heard my story so many times in prison. Just the same crazy story, the same crazy trials, you know, going to prison not because they did what they were charged with, but you know, the judges would tell them, "I know you did something." And you know, it's just not going to prison for something is not in the Constitution. And what I did not break any crime that I've been able to find, and I've done an enormous amount of research. Um, certainly I didn't have weapons of mass destruction. You probably know someone who's been in jail or prison, and you probably don't believe their story. But how many people are you not going to believe until, you know, we finally realize how bad it is? Uh, people are extremely unsympathetic. 
Um, I've even heard, you know, it's your own fault. <laughs> they, oh, hey, I feel better now. <laughs> you know, yeah, it was my fault, sort of. I mean, it was a fast fuse, but yeah, okay, it was my fault. That, that, that I'm still missing half a hand. And it's been difficult uh, because uh, uh, people are generally unsympathetic, um, even family. Uh, you know, uh, the, my oldest friends have disappeared. Um, and folding clothes, is a, you know, takes me 15 minutes to button a shirt, uh, which was torture in jail, you know, uh, because you have to get dressed when you go down to the court. And the COs are just correctional officers. <laughs> oh, we're not going to help you. I mean, uh, my reputation's been destroyed. I, uh, I don't have a gallery. It's hard to get one. Uh, people are afraid of me. Even you said you were kind of afraid to come over. Those news stories uh, had a big impact. Even if people don't believe this story, they believe the emotional response that they had to the story. And that's what they remembered. They remember going, oh my God, you know, and they believe whatever it is that they told themselves in that minute. But it's a trend in this country to take people who've you know, who are, who are basically down. <laughs> I mean, I was down. And I think the cop who arrested me was a sadist, you know? He saw me bleeding and crying and screaming. Oh, I was in so much pain, and I never got painkillers in prison. The painkillers I was supposed to get. Um, You're still on pro, uh, parole or probation now? Yes, and I will be until I'm 67. I'm 59 now. They gave me a 12-year sentence. Um, I'm off of state parole, but then they put you on special probation where, you know, if I do anything between now and the time I'm 67, and even then, you know, so it's been difficult and I need help. I need help folding clothes, just dumb stuff like that, even though I'm facile at painting uh, and I need to make a living. Um, Are you a danger to the community? No, I never have been. I can't kill the mice who live behind my stove. Um, I really can't, it's a problem. And I hope that you and I hope anybody who believes me um, will stand behind me because our, our justice system is, is insanely corrupt. Uh, I don't know if that's particularly Philadelphia, but here, and if you're a Philadelphian, you don't want to go to court here. It is a rigged affair, um, completely.